everyone, what's up? Welcome back to Seinfeld's Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories Guide. So this is going to be the final Toshiko Kaysen mission here in Staunton, or well, in the game, in the whole series. It's a pretty intense mission. Uh, again, make sure you have went up to your safe house to save, collect your armor, ammo, health, whatever you need. And then come back down here, and when you are ready, head into the marker to start cashing Kazuki's chips. Hello? I'm bathing, Tony-san. We have little time left. My husband knows now who is truly behind his losses. He's coming to kill me. And you. Well, I ain't waiting here for him. Where is he? He's in Belleville, gathering his men. But soon, he will come here. Well, sayonara, sweetheart. My prayers go with you, Tony-san. Good luck. Yeah, okay, so now we have to head over to Kazuki's place and kill him. Um, fans of GTA 3 will recognize this place as the safe house in Staunton. Um, if you remember, we had to go down this like little ramp into this back lot, alley, whatever, and there's a garage there. Uh, there's this weapon pickup if you need it, whatever. Uh, I guess you could drive into the marker, but you're know, walking into it too. So this, yeah, just be prepared as soon as the cutscene stops to fire. There we go. <laughs> All right, and of course, you know, we have these guys here who pulled up in the Yakuza Stinger cars. Um, you know, just use your weapon, whatever, and just kind of use your camera as well to kind of see where they are all located. And as soon as they're all out, Here's the next bit. All right, obviously he's uh, flying, I guess, I guess it's not really that obvious, but yeah, he's flying south and he's heading back to his casino. So I probably should have taken a Yakuza Stinger and oh, there's a uh, armor pick up there on the left if you need it. Um, I probably should have taken a Yakuza Stinger, but the reason why I'm on a, a PCJ is because uh, it was kind of easier to weave in and out of like obstacles and stuff because as you can see you do have uh, more Yakuza chasing after you and then once you get close to the uh, casino here uh, pull out your minigun and you should be able to hopefully uh, fire forward and just kind of take most of these guys out uh, if you can't then uh, you know take out your M4 and take out the rest of the guys and if you do get a two-star one level, there is that bribe pickup right there on the other side of this like little median wall thing, whatever. It's not median, it's just a wall thing. Anyway, so take out the cars or any guys that are giving you issues and then uh, quickly make your way over into the casino. Of course, I've lost some armor already, but yeah. I was also looking for pickups along the way there. So, yep, you, know, you see this guy up there, but also there's me, a guy right here to your left as soon as you uh, go past this uh, support column, whatever, entry arch thing. Uh, you know, use your M4 and sniper rifle as well, because while the M4 can take out guys quickly, uh, you really can't get the aim, I guess, on their body that well, so that's why I always use sniper rifle, like... Uh, was it the Shogun Showdown, was it? Or no, more deadly than a bad it was. Like, you know, when you can't get your target or can't in injure an enemy with the targeting of your M4 or whatever weapon that does target, use a sniper rifle for the rest of them because it, you can at least get headshots if they're behind barriers like that. So there we go. All the guys on this level are out. Um, there is another guy up here. Like I said, I was also just kind of looking around seeing hopefully there was like some type of health or armor pickup. Uh, you know, with this guy up here, I was hoping that let's see, after I take him out, give me one second. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, I went over across here, even though the marker's right there, but I went up this side. I was like, please let there be some kind of armor pickup before we step into the main marker there at the rooftop on the other side, but there was not. So... Uh, go ahead and head into the marker after you take out all the guys. Don't worry about stretching around for anything. 
my men dishonor me. But it is fitting that I kill you myself. You too, leave us. I am going to enjoy thrusting my sword into you. Yeah, I heard that about you. <laughs> so many gay undertones, right? <laughs> All right, but anyway, so um, as soon as you start, immediately run away, equip your M4. For whatever reason, the minigun will not work on this. And you see there is an armor pickup up here, thankfully. Of course, take out his two guys, because they will shoot at you eventually. Or I think if you shoot at one, then the other guy will shoot at you. Anyway, uh, just take him out, and then just keep on running from one corner, and, you know, face behind you, and quickly turn around and take him out. Let's see, I think that was... yeah. And then you'll automatically pick up his uh, katana sword. So you have to take Kazuki's sword to Toshiko as proof that he is dead. And, uh, you know, Whatever one level you have, you all have to get a two-star one level. Now, this, as you can see, the uh, lighting wasn't that great, or the brightness. I don't know. Something what just wasn't that good. I tried turning up the brightness a while back, but yeah, it just didn't do well. So it's kind of hard to find the exit of, or the uh, opening in the railings to go back down. But, you know, eventually, as you see, I got it here. And you'll see that there is that Yakuza Stinger right below. Uh, you can get into it if you want. I did, of course. Uh because you will have cops coming after you, and there is, oh, there's a health pickup under the stairs. Ha! <laughs> All right, uh, see, I was making a right, but instead just drive forward, and then make an immediate left, and as you see, I pass here, I was like, where is the marker here? I see it on the radar, but I can't see where the marker is. So then it's like, oh, there we go. Adjust the camera. Toshiko. It's over now. Yes. Yes, I knew that. Hello, Mr. Tony. Hey. So, um, you won. You got what you wanted. Everything worked out great. Great. Yes. Great. Really great. So it's, uh, payment time, sweetheart. We are both of us fools and killers, Mr. Tony. I guess we are. The world takes such a terrible toll on your spirit. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Tony? I guess. But uh, you're free now. I mean, you can uh, go to uh, Costa Rica or Aruba some shit. Start over new, that's what you always wanted. I don't think I'm ready for a beach holiday, Mr. Tony. I've lost everything. And I have done so deliberately. I've been granted everything I asked for. Now, I just ask to be truly free. Goodbye, Tony Sun. <sighs> okay, mission passed four thousand dollars. I think she's like one of like maybe five characters in the whole series who actually commits suicide. Yeah, like I said, it's a heavy mission. <laughs> All right. So anyway, after that, drive back to your safe house here in Shoreside. Um, because we're done with Staunted now. God, that's so sick, so sad. I know she's just a game character, but still. Any form of suicide is sad. I hate that. Hate it, hate it, hate it. All right, you'll get a phone call. My man, this is 8-Ball. Your hardware is ready to ship out. All right, so save after that. Uh, and as you see, 8-Ball's marker will appear back here on the radar. I guess he's the only mission we have going for us right now. So, with that being done, we'll be at 97% towards 100% completion. Almost there. Three more percent to go. So that's it for this video, everyone. I love you all. Peace out. Till next time. Adios.